Glad to, to be on to a new week. Lots to correct from our, our last game. And after uh, our opener and our game against Clemson, a lot of positive momentum and um, a really optimistic and momentum generating beginning to the season with um, a lot to build for. And uh, quite frankly, a surprise and, and uh, I was not happy and disappointed with our performance uh, on Saturday. Uh, lots of mistakes really in every area. We didn't play well enough uh, to win the football game. And so it caught, caught me and probably my team a little bit off guard um, after games one and two and where we thought we were and how we performed in that game. Brennan suffered a concussion in the game on Saturday. He'll have to work through the protocols this week. From my understanding, it is his first and so possible that he could return and be ready for this week. Uh, so it's really day by day uh, as he works through the protocol. Lindell didn't have many practice reps at all with our offense. He was really working with our defense and, and helping us in that regard. And just that he came in and was effective and moved the football team, um, I was encouraged by that. I really liked um, the execution of our fake punt. Um, and there was uh, uh, some play by individual players throughout. Billy Kemp continues to perform really well. Um, Lavelle Davis shows up in every game doing something that seems to make it an impact. Uh, Terrell Janna remains consistent. Devontae Cross is playing well. Brenton Nelson is playing well. Nick Grant's playing well. Our inside linebackers. Uh, there's just there's a lot of uh, positive things happening. Turnovers and a slow start, especially in the first quarter, are things that we have to get addressed. And I would say special teams overall. Lots of things there to clean up and make better. I think Wake Forest collectively as a football team is really, really well coached. I think they're so methodical in their design. I think they're so clear on their identity. I think there's a purpose for everything that they do, not only as a football team, but at in the setting they are at Wake Forest. I think it makes complete sense. So I just, I think their program model is architected, designed, and coached really well from Dave uh, and his staff. It's a very unique style. Um, right, so the, the, the really uh, kind of slow and methodical zone read uh, really requires discipline for all front seven defenders to maintain, maintain and hold in their gaps. And the first time someone becomes undisciplined or pokes their head on the opposite side, the ball is given and the ball goes there. It really can go anywhere. And then, right, as a run front becomes more aggressive then the RPO game opens up. And so, it, uh, and then there's occasional shots on the outside. So it's just a very well in, uh, well designed and intentional and methodical system that yields, in a lot of cases, a lot of points, which those things usually don't go together. And so it's, it's just very unique.